anything I could have expected. Let's talk about these glorious bombs. Oh, uh, boy. These videos that are going viral yes. all over. And, you know, these aren't, you know, part of NXT show or on a network or anything like that. They're on YouTube. They're on Twitter, Facebook. Who made the idea? And did you ever think that these will get the, the views that they have right now? Okay. So this is the first time I've actually told this story on, uh, on a podcast or anything like that. But so we were doing walkthroughs for the Cruiserweight Classic. Okay. And they played this glorious song. They played Bobby's song. It's glorious. Yes, it's glorious. And we all thought that was going to be the theme song for the show. That was going to be the Cruiserweight Classic okay. theme. It was gonna, I was going to open it. So we all got excited. We're like, this is our song. This, is, this, this song rules. It's awesome. So we're all saying glorious, glorious, and like doing like hand motions. Yeah. They're like, this, we should do this. We should do that. Like, this is our song. And then we later find out it's Bobby's song. And we immediately are really angry with Bobby. <laughs> like, what the heck? That's our song. Why does Bobby get such a cool song? So every single time we saw Bobby, we'd tell him, like, oh, man, we really want your song. Like, and every single time we saw him, me and Tommaso would go up to him and say, like, glorious, and, like, sing his song to him. Yeah. And uh, so, like, we do that. And one day I said to Tommaso, like, because the song got released on YouTube, I was like, it'd be funny if – we had a phone and we played a song and just ran up to him and like played a song and filmed us doing that. And Tomas was like, we should do it. And I'm more of an idea guy. Mm-hmm. Tommaso's more like the, the go and doer guy. Like yeah. he, he has no filter and he'll go and do things. Uh, I'm more like the, Oh, this would be funny if we do that. And hypothetical guy. And that'd be cool. And I was just saying it as a joke. And Tomas was like, we should actually do it. Uh, so we went up to Bobby and asked him and Bobby was, he was like, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Like, but yeah. he wasn't like, Let's do it, definitely. Like he was like, yeah, sure, let's, let's try it, let's do it. Um, so we we were all in the gym, and we decided we we're gonna film one of the gym first, and that was where the first one took place. So we have Bobby go and do like a fake rep, and I like to point out the fake rep Bobby does is with seventy pound dumbbells. He just picks them up and rips them out, yeah. no problem. Uh, so we film that first one, and we post it. I'm like, oh, that's cool, we did it. Uh, that was funny. Um, but then like it starts getting blown up online and uh the favorites come to the roof and the retweets go to the roof and it's like it's it's going viral yeah and we go on the bus to go to the show that night and the social media guy for WWE stops us and gives us high five he's like that's awesome keep doing them keep doing them so that whole night we spent like we spent like coming up with glorious mom's ideas and filming this one filming this one we filmed like not to spoil anything for everybody but we filmed all those in the same night (laughs) (laughs) we ripped them all because we knew like oh we'll we'll post one here we'll post one there like we put a kind of uh, put together a plan and when we do it with the social media guy and stuff like that uh because then after we post a few there uh someone showed us a text message from triple h saying i love tell gargano and champa i love the glorious bombs so we're like if he loves them we gotta definitely keep doing them uh so that that like getting that reaction and like um like having it go viral and like seeing the people's reaction to it and having people film their own videos and having everything like that it's super cool like i've never experienced something like that and i think it's really helped us uh it's helped a lot of people see more of our personalities yeah, definitely. I mean, that's a, you don't have that much opportunity to show it during the NXT shows. I mean, obviously, you're very good in the ring, and you, Tommaso, are very good in the ring chemistry-wise, but they don't have that chance to see the personality. And even, I think it helped the song, you know, catch on even more because it's, you know, Bobby Roode, yeah. big free agent from TNA to, to NXT. And the song is actually number one right now on iTunes. It's amazing. <laughs> and the song is great. It's going to be great whether you guys do these glorious bombs yeah, anyway. Yeah. I think, but it helped that. It helped Bobby Absolutely. Roode. And it helped you guys with personality. So are there more? Coming out? Uh, maybe. We're undecided at this point. Like, we don't want to force anything. Yeah. Uh, we want to beat a dead horse. Yeah. Like, like we feel like we, we got to put a lot of good content right now. If it's if there's an overwhelming demand for them, we will film more. Uh, like, you kind of saw at TakeOver, we did kind of a, a little nod to the Glorious Bomb uh, when we did our walk-up shot, and Bobby came in the background and nodded at us. Yeah. And that was, like, the point I loved – uh, I, I wish I can contain my level of joy that I felt in the moment when I saw Bobby walk through his entrance for takeover because I didn't know any of that was going to happen. Yeah. And when I saw him up on the thing and come down from heaven, I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, yeah, so there's none right now in the can. There's actually one right now in the can. Oh. There's one in the can, All right. uh, but not spoiling for you guys. So we'll see what that comes eventually.